area and perimeter, yeah. What is area? So area is the amount of square units inside of a two-dimensional object. So to find area, you're gonna multiply length times width. Again, area equals length times width. You wanna write that as a formula, that's just A equals L times W. And each letter stands for the word that we just talked about. A, area, L, length, W, width, you got it. On the other hand, perimeter. Perimeter is the distance around a figure. Perimeter's formula is length plus length plus width plus width. Let's say you were saying that this is the length, right? So you got length plus another length. So you're adding this side plus this side and this side and this side. It doesn't matter the order. You can do length plus width plus length plus width. You can do length plus width plus width plus length. So long as you get all four sides in it. Okay, we got our first example. Area and perimeter. Four and three. Those are our dimensions. For area, we know that it's length times width. Area equals length times width. And for this situation, area is four times three because the length is four and the width is three. It doesn't really matter which one you say is the length and which one's the width. It just, you gotta make sure you get them both. And so in this situation, we gotta say that the area is 12 units squared. Now we have to put this units with this two right there. That means squared because we're counting square units. Area is the amount of square units that fits inside. You see how many, how many squares are in here? 12, we just said it. They're square units. Okay, so you could read it 12 units with that little two squared, and that's two because we have two dimensions, length and width. Or you can also read it as 12 square units. However, on the other hand, perimeter. Perimeter's formula equals length plus length plus width plus width. Pay attention, we're adding here. Perimeter equals four plus four plus three plus three. 14 units, 14 units. We have another figure here, two dimensional. This time we know the unit of measurement. We're measuring in centimeters. The dimensions for this shape are five centimeters and two centimeters. And let's remember the formula first, length plus length plus width plus width. Now we're going to plug in our numbers, five, plus five equals 10, plus two is 12, plus two is 14. The perimeter for this shape is 14 centimeters. The formula for area again is length times width. We must remember that formula. Now we're plugging in our numbers. Area equals five times two. Five times two is 10. So the area for this shape is 10 centimeters square or 10 square centimeters. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yeah, boy, we took them lines away. What are you gonna do now? Well, don't worry, our formulas are still the same. Let's focus on our dimensions. The dimensions are eight and four, eight and four feet, I should say. All right, we got a length of eight feet and a width of four feet. So we know area, well, I don't need the lines. I know area is length times width, but just in case you're wondering, that's what the lines would look like. Okay, it's gone. Let's go ahead and multiply. Area equals length times width, right? So that means area equals eight times four. Well, that's easy. I know eight times four. I, uh, for 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, it's 32, I got it. The area is 32 feet squared because we're measuring square units. You might think, but Mr. Smaller, I don't see the square units, but who cares? We don't need them. We're not some third graders counting squares. We can multiply. If there are any third graders watching this on YouTube, I didn't mean any offense, I'm sorry. Now let's jump into the perimeter. The perimeter is the length plus width plus length plus width. But Mr. Smallwood, I only see one eight and one four. We're supposed to be adding four numbers. Even though it's not labeled here, we still know how much it is. I'm willing to bet you know what number would go here. What number would go here? I'll give you a hint. This line right here is the same length as this line. So what number would go right here? How did you know? It's four feet, yes. So there's four feet here and then eight feet here because this line and this line are the same. We're really doing eight plus four plus eight plus four. Eight plus four, that's that's 12. And then I did another eight plus four, that's 12. And so we're just combining the 12s and that's 24 feet. 